What happens to the food in your body? Your digestive system consists of the mouth where digestion begins. When you swallow the food you eat, your tongue pushes the chewed food called bolus toward the back of your mouth into the esophagus. The esophagus is lined with muscles that expand and contract in waves to move the chewed food down to the stomach. The stomach is the widest part of the digestive tract. It is a stretchable J-shaped bag. It can stretch to hold up to 4 liters of food and drink. It expands and contracts to hold food, mix and mash it up, and move it to the small intestine. The small intestine is a long tube measuring at about 7 meters long and 3 to 6 centimeters in diameter. As food enters the small intestine, it is mixed up with digestive juices from the pancreas and the liver, making it more runny and watery. It is in the small intestine where digestion of food is completed and nutrients are absorbed. The process of absorption takes about 3 to 6 hours. The food that cannot be digested moves to large intestine. The large intestine is only 1.5 meters long, but it is bigger in diameter than the small intestine. By the time the undigested food reaches the end of the large intestine, it has become solid waste called stool or feces, which the body expels through an opening called anus. Liver. The liver is the largest organ inside the body and serves as the main chemical factory. It produces bile that is stored in the gallbladder. The bile flows into the small intestine to help digest fats. The liver is an essential organ that the body cannot survive without it. Yet, what is amazing about the liver is that even if most part of it removed, the remaining portion could regrow the entire organ. Pancreas The pancreas is a wedge-shaped gland that secretes digestive juice to help digest carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The pancreas also produces the hormone insulin which helps regulate blood sugar level. Kidneys The urinary system is made up of vital organs that filter blood and produce liquid waste products called urine. The organs of the urinary system include the kidneys, renal pelvis, ureters, bladder, and urethra. The kidneys are the two bean-shaped organs about the size of a fist or about 5 inches located below the rib cage, one on each side of your spinal column. Attached to the kidneys are the tubes called ureters. They carry urine and deposit this to the bladder. The bladder is a hollow triangular organ attached to the other organs and the pelvic bones. Its walls relax and expand to store urine and contracts to empty urine through the opening called urethra.
Turn on the notification bell to keep you guys updated.